Hello, my friends. Day for Fixantra. We have a Friday, and uh, it's uh, today is eleventh January. So let's look to our market opportunities as every morning. So we will revise as well the trades which I added yesterday. Uh, so let's start with the gold. We, as we all know, gold is in the big uptrend all uh, for quite some time. And what I did yesterday, actually, I entered it long in here, and I was speculating that uh, the stop losses above here will be hit. However, market first dropped it, uh, a bit lower, and now it's going down. So, what is the important to watch uh, in this situation is this. Uh, we actually need to know, uh, we need to watch as well the type of the move. So we can see, I was expecting that this accumulation will might be enough to uh, go up, which wasn't. I think uh, many people might enter it long and uh, uh, the market makers, Algos, uh, took the market down because there was uh, pretty might uh, enough buyers at this moment so what they've been doing they've been actually taking the market down and uh, you must look uh, to the type of the move we can see that uh, it's not any sharp move it's like a slow move and you can see that the drop is volume this drop is volume this is volume so you can see that they basically uh, when they've been going down they've been adding even more positions so the market was going down and the market makers was buying buying and buying so they've been building their position to uh, go even higher and uh, meanwhile when the market makers adding more longs <laughs> the market is going down and the retail traders uh, start to sell of course uh, i don't want to say that i am not retail trader i'm of course retail trader as well and uh, uh, i believe that uh, every trader is uh, is I, every traders are equal i am not any more smart than anyone and uh, actually uh, you don't need to be smart to make a money uh, or you i mean smart you have to be smart but uh, you don't need to have a, any high school or any degree to make a money on the forex you just need to learn read this game and what basically you need to understand what is happening on the market so what each moves uh, uh, means and uh, mainly the volume because if I don't know about this information I might could think that the market is dropping but I see that there was a buying and it was growing so I was expecting still that this is gonna happen they just need used this move to attract more sellers so here a uh, occur uh, more stop losses and then this uh, manipulation up is more profitable for the market makers so I still hold it to this trade and uh, I still think it will go up because the overall trend is up as well and the retail traders uh, are more selling so they will go up I still keep it still uh, I'm still in this trade next one is euro euro happened very similar thing uh, as on the USD we can see that uh, I have I have entered here which was the mistake I draw it down and uh, I draw it, uh, I write it this down to my notes that I will, even if I will see this opportunity, might I will be always using the uh, buy limit uh, somewhere around here. However, this stop loss wasn't here in the time when I was entering the trade. But what is good to use is the whole numbers, quarter numbers and the half numbers. It's the levels where the market makers mostly trade. So you can see they drop it uh, for the qu quarter number, half number, and from here you can see they was, they was uh, you know, attracting sellers and now uh, they, they will probably take it up. However, you can see that once the market start to move up, more stop losses start to appear here. So they could definitely take it more down as well. But this is this is now the question where the market will go first because I can see some buyers here and uh, if the market go up here uh, these buyers will be in the profit so might uh, we will see the first drop lower before uh, it continues up we will see it's a Friday so Friday might uh, there could be some profit taking from this from this up move 
So, but if they will want to take the profit uh, out uh, uh, from this, uh, they will close. They will be closing the positions here. So it would be nice to uh, take uh, take close it here. Uh, use these uh, stop losses as a liquidity to sell their contracts. So I still keep in this trade. Um, this is the Aussie. Aussie. I was uh, speculating for this uh, stop hunt of uh, these stop losses, and I was expecting to mark a drop. However, I was filled here. It dropped at like 20 pips, and then it's continuing up. However, the, look at this move up. It's uh, without any volume, uh, so I think, uh, uh, and I see that the, the people was buying in here. So these people who bought in here, in these levels, they are in the profits, and stop losses will be somewhere around here. And the most of the stop losses are down here. The ratio is so-so. Uh, Let's see, but uh, I will expect uh, the drop down and uh, I will be watching this because of course uh, I have to put the, put the trades but I don't have to be always right. So if uh, the market will drop somewhere down here, I will, I will lock, the, lock the stop loss in the profit. So if it go out, uh, I, will, I will close it occasionally. This is the pound. Pound is uh, in this range. You know, I'm not doing anything here. It can go up or down. Not interested in to trade this. This is the Kiwi. Kiwi, I didn't post any trade yesterday. Uh, in this intraday, I can see that there was the stop losses hit. And if we look uh, to the, if we look uh, to the market composition, we can see more buyers. And these buyers are even in the profit. And here is a huge stop loss cluster. Um, and as well in this move all these buyers who was entering the game was in the profit so what I expect now highly as well we hit the daily high and the weekly high so what I will expect is that the market could drop down from here or maybe I will I will look definitely left always we must look left uh, to the market structure and what do I see here? Uh, let me put the 30 minutes time frame. So we are as well in this uh, supply zone uh, which could uh, drop the market down. Look at this composition. This is very clear. So we see the market was going up. What basically doing the retail traders when the market is going up? They start to buy and we can see all of them are here. No one was selling. When the market is going up, no one was selling. It looks obvious that if it goes up, you're gonna buy. However, uh, if we look at it uh, from the from from the life, like uh, imagine that this is not the Kiwi USD. Imagine that this is, uh, for example, the price of the car. Imagine if the car is go if the price of your favorite car is going up will you gonna buy no of course not you you will want to wait well till the price is low so um, if I own this car and the price is up I will want to sell it to make a money on it maybe uh, maybe this example is not right however uh, what I see here is that uh, here is a lot of buyers there was the stop losses hit we are in the supply zone and uh, I will expect the correction uh, to take out this so I will definitely enter on this one for the short uh, with the stop loss uh, with the take profit down here that's what I'm gonna expect as well we have made this uh, uh, weekly and daily high uh, of the range which uh, which is confirming me that uh, the move could be already uh, done and we could might possibly see the uh, correction this is the USD cat. USD cat trade yesterday. I posted. Uh, I was entering here, and uh, what uh, basically happened? The market started dropping. Then they move higher again because when it was dropping uh, from here, look, the people start to sell and they put stop losses here. So what what happened again? The market makers algos. Uh, they came back again and took them out. When they took them out, then they said, "Ah, oh, okay, no more stop losses." And now they're going down. And look what, what we see. So when they've been going up, these people, uh, not this, we must uh, we must take just this level. So these buyers and they are now in the trap. So these people are in the trap and they've been taking down. Here is the sellers 
and uh, if it will go down these sellers start to win so now is the question what's gonna be more profitable for the banks if to go down or up however my position I have made mistake because uh, uh, I opened it uh, my take profit was somewhere here uh, there was some stop losses before it was somewhere here around and uh, let's check it in, in in the sorry in the telegram channel how was the position position was probably done uh, let's look at this uh, USD cat trade all right my position was uh, was here uh, let's uh, let me let me do this uh, for you so uh, so I entered it So I have entered uh, into the game uh, when the market was uh, when the market was here, which is here, and they went down. Then they came up again for the stop losses somewhere down here, and then it started to continue down. And what I did, I closed the position somewhere around here yesterday because it wasn't moving anywhere. So I was might uh, you know I just uh, didn't stick into the trade. What I should do, I should might just move the uh, stop loss uh, below the entry. Here is the entry, and here I should move the stop loss and let it let it be. But I didn't do that. I closed it anyway. No problem. And uh, right now I'm not gonna enter because it's in the middle of anything. So if I would be interested, then I would go sell limit or buy limit. However, right now I'm not interested in anything. USD chef. USD chef is was uh, has made a very surprising move yesterday, but I didn't trade it anything. And what do we see? We see that uh, there was the stop losses hit, and uh, as we moving down, more stop losses appearing here. Mm, I don't know what's gonna happen here. Uh, and uh, I see some sellers entering game here, which might would be taken in, into the trap and uh, we have weekly high and daily high a bit above so a high probability that this is gonna happen uh, that it will hit and take out all these sellers all these people who are selling now uh, if we look into the closely I realized one thing uh, while I'm watching uh, all these charts and uh, what is happening uh, mostly is uh, that the market makers uh, they creating something I call it like a steps so what happened is uh, they let's uh, let's uh, assume that we have the market is going up then it start to go down and then create some low then they do ranging then they then they cut it a bit lower you can see they make a little bit low then again then again and then when when they break it lower then they start to move market up and again now they did it lower and what most of the people start to do now they start to sell they start to sell here and uh, if they still don't have enough sellers they will make uh, another step and another step till the, a lot of people is there and then when they have enough people trapped into the shorts then they start to move the market up very closely so it looks like something like this it could be called, you know, uh, it's like this uh, flag formation or something like that. But uh, they, uh, they, they're just doing this. They're just attracting people to the market. So I believe this one, definitely, you can see. You see what they're doing. They dropped, uh, they dropped it uh, a bit lower below the last low. Their people enter it long and now they're taking it up. You see? And now the, those people who enter it here, they're now paying the spreads, fees and everything. And they are in the loss. So I believe this uh, this will move up. Uh, we will see, but I'm not gonna enter the trade uh, uh, because it's not uh, convincing for me. This is the USDJPY. USDJPY. We have uh, more people on the long, so we should go short. Um, however, here is the sellers, no buyers. Here is the sellers stop profit, uh, stop losses. Uh, I think we could see this. That they will be taken out. Might what would be 
uh, what I have learned already is that okay I see the sellers which must lose because they have stop losses here and there is a more sellers than buyers they definitely must lose but uh, wouldn't it be more profitable for the banksters if they go a bit lower so what's gonna happen then you already know when the market will start to go lower here will be here will be uh, growing these uh, these sellers uh, clusters so when they start to move the markets down more sellers will appear here so what does this mean and here will be he will here will appear even more stop losses so what they will probably might do here's these steps as I said look uh, here is uh, more uh, more more obvious so they they be, they've been going up and then look and they have the steps they go lower and then they choop, just spike up then they go lower again trapped trapping the people into the market then they make it again trapping the people in the market so here is sellers here is sellers here is sellers and they all put stop uh, stop losses here and here is the here is the money so the banks know that uh, the people sold here they don't they know it even because they know uh, the crowd uh, behavior and they know it as well because they see all orders so now is the question and this is how the market moves if they have trapped enough sellers so it is enough profitable for them to move the price higher because they have all the money so they can do it however for them is uh, is it enough profitable to move up right now and give the chance to these uh, to these people to win and make all these lose for me it seems like yes however I don't know we never know wh what they're gonna do next they of course they can move it much lower and then higher that's the question uh, I think what do I think is as we see as I look at it like this obviously uh, the thing is that uh, here is the range daily high range daily low we are in just exactly in the middle of that if you look at it this is the 50% so we are in the middle of this range so it's like same it's same gamble like if I go to the roulette and I will bet on the red or the black however I see higher chance this market moving up but uh, you know I will not I will not enter this 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 could go like this or like this and uh, it's only about the luck if uh, they will move it first down or they will move, move it first up and it does not depends on anything it does not depends on any you know trend lines or any any formations or anything it depends only on the behavior of the retail traders how they will be positioning so the market makers will move the market against them so even imagine you have this uh, this same situation today and you have tomorrow totally same chart and every day it will move differently because there will be different traders different positioning different market exposure so that's the reason why some technical analysis formations will work for you sometimes and why sometimes not so that's the reason that's the only reason however I think it we will go up because uh, we have uh, we have more sellers than the buyers however it's not uh, when it goes in, so I skip this trade. This is the Aussie, and Aussie and I entered a short yesterday here, which was the mistake uh, because the market uh, obviously went up. Uh, not obviously, but uh, it happened. Uh, but what is going on here? Look at this. We have uh, exactly opposite of the Aussie N and I see of the USDN. I see all these sellers, all these buyers. Are in the profit right now so I was actually uh, expecting the market to drop because I see all people are in the long and uh, they must lose so they probably moved the market up and you can see where they all been in the profits 
and what do we see here as well we can see the market is moving up and we see position closing position closing position closing so I put another sell limit and I will be expecting to take me in it in this trade and then might drop it lower so this is what I will be expecting here let's see and the last one is the euro yen euro yen here is this game um, very unclear for me I mean it's look this is this nothing can go here can go down I don't know if I look to the volume but while the market is moving up positions are being closed the volume is going low we have more buyers for me it's more probably to drop down however it could happen that it will go first up and then it could drop down okay so this is everything for me today I haven't uh, added any trade yet uh, as I said so what is my trade for today was just this Kiwi which I saw it's a in a some like small profit and uh, yeah so this is for today and we're gonna have a weekend so on the weekend I'm gonna do the swing analysis as well I will be looking for my trades uh, which I entered in my paid group and uh, <laughs> I still don't have this uh, COT reports because of this ridiculous close shutdown of the USA government so I'm trading a bit like a blind person because uh, I'm really get used to, to watch this COT it's very difficult for me to trade the uh, markets now okay anyway have a great uh, rest of the week uh, and bye bye my friends